Bonjour Taurus and welcome or welcome back to my channel, Claude here. Today I'm going to be doing your monthly tarot reading for the month of August. So I hope you're all doing well and that you had a good July month. I'm going to be using Odin's Playbook Tarot Deck. It is created by the lovely Danielle Norman. I've reviewed this deck, um, so I will leave you a description and a link below if you're interested in looking at the artwork or even, you know, getting the deck for yourself. So, as per usual for the monthlies, I have split my deck into three parts. This is the major arcana for your energy for the month. Over there you've got the court cards. Um, just to get an idea of how you're advised to show up this month in order to maximize the energies. And at the bottom we've got the minor arcana to delve into the message. So as always, please remember, those are general readings. They will not resonate with everybody. So take what resonates and just discard the rest. So what is the main energy for my Taurus Quarants, please? What do they need to know for August? So your main energy for the month is the Hangman. Now the Hangman has come as main energies for every single air sign, so Aquarius, Gemini, uh, and Libra. So if you've got any air in your chart, you may want to have a look at those um, because they may be connected. You may be get me, sorry, you may be getting more information. Um, you know, like a, another piece of the jigsaw. I will go through the cards obviously when they're all out. What court card are they um, advised to embody this month? So you're advised to be the Shield Maiden of Rings. Now the Shield Maidens in this deck represent the Knights, so this is the Knight of Pentacles, which is very much, you know, your energy, it's Earth energy. Alright, so what are the messages, please? So we have the Two of Wands, the Ten of Pentacles, beautiful, and the Ten of Wands. Okay, so you've got two tens. That's interesting energy. Ace of Cups, Four of Swords, and Oh, two fours, the four of pentacles, bottom of the deck, which is in the energy supporting you, is the nine of cups. Okay, it's got an, quite a nice set of cards here. Let's talk about this first. Nine is attainment or achievement in the tarot, and cups represent the emotional realm. This is water energy. So this talks about your feelings, your emotions, your intuition. The Nine of Cups is very often referred to as the nine wish fulfillment card because it is having everything you ever wanted, you know, feeling content, feeling happy, um, satisfied basically with what you got. Um, yeah, so this is a very nice energy to have supporting you because your energy for the month is the energy of the hangman. Now the hangman may talk about a period of stillness or stagnation, you know, um, being in a limbo period because something needs to be released. Um, or there's a little sacrifice that needs to occur. But I always say to people, you know, things happen for you, not to you. So if you are experiencing this um, energy where things don't move fast enough, that kind of thing, uh, and it's frustrating, I totally get it, um, this is happening so you get the time to release something so that you're ready, you know, so that things have lined up for you and, you're, and you are ready to do so, which is a very... Um, important to remember rather than getting frustrated is what I mean. And this month you're advised to embody the Knight of Pentacles. Now again, you know, you have free will. These are just advice. I'm just reading out the messages I'm hearing. So the Knight of Pentacles, well, I, I personally like the energy of the Knights because they represent things moving forward, um, action being taken. It 
you know, and in this case, literally, it's you taking the reins of your life. And pentacles being your energy, this is the physical realm. So whether we're dealing with home life, buildings and relationships with him, or work life, so job, business, career, advancement, financial assets, the knight of pentacles is the knight that has a clear focus in mind and who is planning every single step and making slow but steady progress. It is slow and steady wins the race, really, that's my phrase for, for this night. And although it is the slowest of the night, this is the night that's the most reliable because he works diligently, he applies himself. And by the way, this is a general reading, so obviously I'm talking about the energy of the card, uh, not the actual gender. So this is the advice for you, you know, the, the course of action that your spirit team is advising to do so that you may move from this period of stillness and you may release whatever needs to be released and get your uh, wish fulfillment. So we begin with the Two of Wands, which is a crossroad, and I can see why, because you've got the Ace of Cups underneath it. The Aces represent um, the seed, the origin of a suit, and they hold the potential of it. So, as, I, as I've explained with the Nine of Cups, this is emotional realm. So this is a brand new beginning, it could be a brand new relationship, it could be um, the renewing of an existing re relationship, it could be the birth of a child, the birth of a project, whatever would make you happy basically because this cup holds the, the liquid that represents your emotions your happiness and so this is a crossroad twos represent duality decisions and crossroads and ones is fire energy so this is really looking at some at two paths two completely different paths and both of them will ultimately you um put you on your um life path, you know, to fulfill your, your uh, life purpose, but they're going to provide you with different types of experiences. Um, and this is about you choosing the one that you believe is going to be the most exciting or the most emotionally fulfilling, because you do have this offer on the table. And then you've got this Ten of Pentacles with the Four of Swords, and I am really... Uh, I, I'm getting something that I need to tell you, you know, it's, it's very specific, but I very rarely look at the Ten of Pentacles as uh, a symbol of family, because it is uh, prosperity and abundance, it's legacy, it's having worked really hard, and having, um, basically, you have so much that you can leave things behind for your descendants, uh, you have a good reputation, it's very good on in the material world, but this message I'm getting, which will not go away, so I have to share it, in this, for some of you, it represents family. And the Four of Swords, well, Four is strong foundation and stability, and Swords represents the mental realm. This is air energy. So it's uh, you, the thoughts you have, your views on the world, the knowledge that you've acquired, um, could be truths and communication. The Four of Swords talks about mental um, equilibrium and taking the time to think about things. But on the shadow side, which I am getting the vibes of for this reading, it also talks about feeling like you're you're fighting against constraint, you're stuck in a box and you do not see a way out and this is linked to your family. I, I see this as a, you know, you have a crossroad, you've had an offer that's really promising and because of family, you're, you're hesitating and you can clearly see on, on the face of the character that he is hesitating. You know, you're looking at what to do, which is why you are in this hangman position, because you're going to have to release something if you want to accept this brand new beginning and go on this path. So it may be, when I say family, I mean, you know, your family, like the entirety of it. This may represent a long-term committed relationship for some of you. Um, maybe um, children, um, maybe leaving just simply your family behind, because this could be an offer of a relocation. You know, as I said, this cup, represents your happiness, whatever your happiness is, and you kind of feel stuck. And, you know, the 10 represents the completion, the end of a cycle in a suit. So that's why I was telling you that the 10 of Pentacles represents prosperity, abundance, having so much that you can leave something behind for your descendants. Um, it is really a beautiful energy of stability. Um, and then you've got this ten of, of wands. Now, this is completion in the fire suit. So the wands represents fire, passion, desire, your spirit. 
and this is having worked long and hard at something and being quite frankly exhausted uh, having acquired some cuts bruises and wounds you can see his scar and feeling burden and getting to the point where actually you can successfully drop that burden the ten of wands is not a bad card people often say oh my god you know you're gonna drop that burden but it's a successful drop you've not lost any of your wands you have learned all the lessons you needed to learn you have acquired all of the experiences you need to, needed to uh, acquire you've gained knowledge and now it is time for you to let go of that which is why the hangman uh, appeared over here uh, and this is um, with the four of pentacles and the four as I've explained, the Four of Swords represents strong foundation and stability. But in the shadow side of this card, which is again the Earth energy, the physical realm, there is an idea of holding on too tight to something and refusing to let go. And the whole reading is about, it is now time for you to let go of whatever this is. With this um, hangman, you need to release something. You have completed the, the, the cycle, you've got two tens, and you now have an opportunity to do something new. Um, and the way you plan to embrace this and, and release is by being like the Knight of Pentacles, somebody who, you know, has this clear focus in mind, in this case, your cup of happiness, your ideal situation, and plans and works towards it and understands that it's going to happen slowly, that there's going to have to be dedication, um, but that it, it's worth it and it's definitely action. And again, as I said, you're sovereign of your life, you, you know, you do you. But this is what potentially can bring you your wish fulfillment. The Nine of Cups is a beautiful card. So there you have it. I'm going to draw you a final message to close out your reading. So can we have the final message for my Taurus Quarens, please? This card is calling me, so I will grab this one. And you've got the Six of Pentacles. Yes, once you have released whatever needs to be released, you will get harmony back. Because Six is harmony after having overcome a change or a challenge. And a change only becomes a challenge if you choose to fight it. If you go with the flow and you complete your cycle, you will have harmony in the physical realm. So this is the... Um, perfect equilibrium between movement and periods of stillness. This is the, equi the equilibrium and between giving and receiving. It's a beautiful card to have to round out your, your reading, you know, the assur assurance that, you know, things will then kind of get back to a, a happy medium after you've released this and you'll feel so much better. So I hope you've enjoyed your journey for the cards with me. If you did or if you found this message helpful in any way, do let me know in the comment box below. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for stopping by. I always appreciate your time. I wish you a wonderful month and I'll see you again very soon. Until next time, au revoir.